In this tutorial video we'll be taking you through the steps of how to animate a cycling stick figure. Step 1. Motion Path. To create a cycling animation, first we'll need to draw a circle like this. We'll make the pedal and the stick figure's leg move in a circular motion along the edge of this outlined circle. You also notice that we have the front or right leg and front pedal nested in a group. And the behind or left leg and behind pedal in another group. So we'll need two circular motion paths for these two groups. Step 2. Setting up motion paths for the legs and pedals. Let's start our animation by adding the motion path behavior to the behind pedal and leg group. Select Geometry for the path shape. Then drag and drop the behind circular motion path to this shape source well. We'll need to set the endpoint of our motion path at frame 17 by selecting the motion path. Then hit the O key. And we'll have a motion wave like this. Then set the motion path speed to custom. By changing it to custom, we can modify the speed velocity curve in the keyframe editor. You can keyframe custom values to make the animation faster or slower, but for this cycling animation, we want the speed to be linear, so we're not going to make any changes to these keyframe tangent handles. After having a motion path for the behind leg and pedal, we'll copy it to the front leg and pedal, but we'll need to change the shape source well. Drag and drop the front circle to the source well. And we'll have a motion like this for both legs and pedals. Let's hide these two outline circles. Step 3. Body Movement. We'll make the body move up and down by keyframing its Y position and Z rotation. Let's add 5 keyframes to the body's Y position and Z rotation. Then adjust keyframe values to create an up and down movement. It should start at the down position, then up and down, up and down again to complete a cycling circle. Let's drag these keyframe tangents like this to adjust the animation speed. Step 4. Head Movement. The head should be slightly moving with the body, so we'll need to add a little bit of motion to the head as well. Before animating the head, make sure its anchor point is set at the base like this. Then, add 5 keyframes to the head's Z rotation. These keyframes should be in the same position as the body's keyframes in our timeline. Set all keyframes interpolation to Bezier. Then change keyframe values to create an up and down motion to the head. Then select repeat before first keyframe for the head's Z rotation keyframes. Move the head's keyframes one frame forward to offset the head. Let's check our animation. The head is moving a little too much. We'll need to reduce these keyframes amplitude to make our head animation more subtle. Step 5. Arms Movement. To animate the front arm, we'll copy the body's Z rotation by hitting Command C. Notice that the initial value of the front arm's Z rotation is minus 119.5 degrees. Add a keyframe at the first frame, then paste the body's Z rotation to the front arm by hitting Command V. Then drag these keyframes down like this until they reach around the initial value, 
minus 119.5. We'll also need to flip the front arm's rotation keyframes as the front arm is moving in the opposite direction to the body. Let's do the same to the front upper arm. Its initial Z rotation keyframe value is minus 47.7. We'll copy the body's Z rotation keyframes to the front upper arm. Then drag them down until they're back to about the initial value. Make sure these two keyframes are at around minus 47.7. And we'll have a nice animation for the character's front arm like this. The arm also looks like it's attached to the body. Apple Motion currently doesn't have a limb IK behavior that allows us to pin the upper arm into place regardless of the arm movement. So this is a trick to replicate the limb IK in character animation. After animating the front arm, we'll copy the front arm's keyframes to the behind arm. Both arms are moving at the same speed, so we'll need to randomize their motion by slightly changing their keyframe values. Step 6. Legs Movement. Now let's go back to the legs and keyframe their control points to keep them in place. Select the front leg layer, and switch to the Edit Points tool. Go to Geometry Shape, and from here we can keyframe the legs control points. We'll add three keyframes to create three key poses for the leg movement. At the second keyframe, we'll drag this control point up until it reaches the stick figure's hip. The leg looks like it's bending. We'll adjust its control point's tangent handles to straighten it up. And we'll have three main poses like this. Then we'll add in between keyframes to smooth out the animation. This pose-to-pose -pose process gives us more control and ensures the accuracy of the final result. Let's add an in-between keyframe and adjust the leg's control points, just like how we did to our key poses. Make sure the first control point is placed right at the middle of the hip to form a nice-looking and connected curve from the hip to the leg. Continue scrubbing through the timeline and adding more in between keyframes where needed. We'll fast forward this part as it's a repetitive task.
Let's check our leg animation after adding in between keyframes. As you can see, the leg is now nicely animated in sync with the body's motion. Let's go through the leg's keyframes one more time, and check the control point at the character's knee to make sure the knee is bending correctly. Copy the first keyframe to the last keyframe to create a perfect loop for the knee movement. The knee should move in an elliptical path. After animating the front leg, we'll copy its keyframes to the behind leg. But before doing so, we'll add a keyframe at these two frames. You don't have to make any changes to their keyframe values. Just make sure there's a keyframe in each and every single frame for our leg animation. Then we'll paste the front leg's keyframes to the behind leg twice like this. Delete the first eight keyframes. Select all keyframes and move them to the left. Then delete the last 8 keyframes outside of the timeline. And the behind leg is now animated. But we'll need to move the behind leg's X and Y position because it doesn't look connected to the body at the moment. We'll also drag the behind circle down slightly. This is the circle that we used as a motion path for the behind leg and pedal at the beginning. And move it forward until it's aligned to the hip. Step 7. The bike wheels. The last thing we need to do is adding some movement to the wheels by keyframing their rotation. We'll start with the front wheel first. Add two keyframes to the front wheel's Z rotation. The first keyframe value should be at zero, and change the second keyframe value to minus 360. The wheel is moving at a constant speed, so there's no need to edit its rotation keyframes in the keyframe editor. Do the same to the back wheel. And we've finished our animation. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video. This is part of our basic stick figure tutorial mini series, and we'll have more coming in the next few weeks. So if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when our next video is released. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.